Welcome to Sandwiches of History. Today from the Sandwich Book of 1900, we're going to be making a sandwich called Love in the Cottage. All right, to kick things off, we add some chopped tomato, chopped cucumber, and no, there were no amounts given, chopped green onion tops, chopped bacon, and the cottage in Love in the Cottage is cottage cheese. Mm-hmm. And we put that on the buttered bread, because why not? Okay, let's give this Love in a Cottage a go. That's really good. You get the smoky bacon, nice crunch and freshness from the cucumber, a little sweetness from the tomato, a little uh, oniony flavor from the green onion tops. This is actually pretty tasty. I do want to plus this up, but it doesn't need a lot. Plus it up with a little bit too much black pepper. Okay, let's give this Love in a Cottage plussed up with a little black pepper a go. So we didn't need salt because it already had salt from the bacon, but um, it did need a little piquancy, and that's why I went and uh, put it in the black pepper. All right, so the original Love in a Cottage uh, was tasty. Uh, the sweet tomato, the crunchy cucumber, the smoky bacon. And you know, if you don't like cottage cheese, you're not gonna like the sandwich. But if you like cottage cheese, you might like the sandwich. I don't know that we need to butter the bread in this instance. I understand back in the day, bread used to stale easily, and so the butter kept the bread together and also acted like a moisture barrier. But here, it's not really that necessary. I'm gonna give the original Love in a Cottage sandwich, I'm gonna give it a six. Solid six, plus up with a little black pepper, six and a half. Definitely gonna finish that, and yeah, I might make this again. Uh, it is pretty easy to put together, and it's pretty tasty. All right, see you tomorrow. Welcome to Sandwiches of History. Today, from the Sandwich Book of 1900, we're gonna be making, mm. <laughs> we're gonna be making love in a cottage. <laughs>